The Gold Coast City Council is one of the largest local governments in Australia, with a budget of more than a billion dollars a year. And many of its decisions are critical to developers, with two controversial projects, twin residential towers and a cruise ship terminal, slated for an area north of the main strip known as the Spit. So we'll start with Councillor for Division 1, Donna Gates. The 15 new councillors sworn in last month all declared themselves to be independent. But behind the scenes, the Liberal National Party and a developer lobbyist have been active. Councillor for Division 4, Christian Bolton. This new councillor was bankrolled by a federal Liberal National MP and supporter of the twin tower development on the spit, Stuart Robert. When Kristen Bolton from My Electric said she'd run, I said I would support her. Uh, and I, of course, uh, provided $30,000 to the Fadden Forum. It wasn't raised for her, it was money that we already had. But she wasn't the only one. At least one other candidate was given $30,000 by an LNP fundraiser known as the Fadden Forum. Both candidates were former staffers of Stuart Robert, who said his motive was purely to stop candidates with connections to the Labor Party. This is a battle of ideas. I believe our ideas are better. I believe the Liberal National Party's view is better, and I believe the community candidates are better. Uh, hence why I backed uh, two of my staff who said that they wanted to fight the Labor Party. Accidentally turns up Stuart a Robert is a former Turnbull government minister who resigned after mixing private and government business on a trip to China in February. That matter is currently under investigation by the Federal Police, but the MP has denied any wrongdoing. The $60,000 Stuart Robert funnel to independent candidates was not declared until after the polls had closed. I've had people come up to me and say, look, I honestly believed I was voting for an independent person. I don't like uh, party politics in council and I'm going to write to the Electoral Commission about it. Dawn Critchlow was serving a record ninth term on council. She's never seen anything like it. You should say, um, I have been uh, donated some money from the uh, Liberal Party, but I, I believe I'm truly independent. You could say that, but say it up front. And that wasn't said, was it? Wasn't said. Totally independent were the words, totally independent. You can't do that sort of thing and, and get away with it. The Liberal National Party says it has and will disclose all funding as required by electoral laws and 7.30 has no evidence either candidate acted improperly. But the secret LNP funding is not the only activity that has raised alarm bells. At least four candidates all had the same one person working on their campaigns. They were putting out the same messages. They were talking, uh, in, wherever you go, wherever you go with pre-polling, no matter where it was in the city, you'd, the same messages were coming through. The common link was Simone Holtzaffel, former staffer to Tony Abbott, a generous donor to Stuart Roberts' Fadden Forum and a lobbyist for developers. I think that is a problem too. Why is that? Because, once again, it's one person doing a campaign for a number of people. That is called a block. And you think in this election people ran as a block but didn't declare it? It appears that way. This is denied by three of the candidates that engaged Simone Holsaffel. But the Gold Coast has a sorry history of candidates misleading voters about their independence. Queensland's Anti-Corruption Commission found the 2004 election had been corrupted by secret funding from developers. And the Commission is now considering an inquiry into this year's elections. I don't mind an inquiry coming out and let that inquiry tell us that that's, that's the situation. This campaign was a pretty dirty campaign, I believe. I believe probably the dirtiest campaign I've been involved in. Simone Holtzapfel was your campaign manager. How mm. many other candidates was she the campaign manager for? You'll have to ask her because um, uh, I uh, engaged Simone on my campaign. I think it's a bit rude to uh, talk about other people's campaign. Uh, I wouldn't want uh, my campaign to be discussed uh, to other people, it's a private business. Were you saying you were unaware that she was a campaign I'm manager? I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you that uh, I've asked for my help, her help and she's done a great job and 
as far as uh, digging down like you are. Am I a journalist like you? Hell no. I'm not that rude. The suggestion is that there was an attempt to conceal the true identity of a donor. Holsaffel's role as a donor to Stuart Roberts' Fadden Forum was raised during a Senate estimates hearing recently. And the Electoral Commission has since confirmed it's examining whether a reportedly $114,000 donation she gave in 2013 breached any disclosure rules. Um, and we'll examine that and uh, I'll have a look at it and read it. 7.30 has been unable to contact Simone Holsaffel and Kristen Bolton. Stuart Robert declined to be interviewed for this report. One of the first major decisions the new council has to make is whether to give the green light to a twin residential tower development on the low-rise Gold Coast Spit. So I've actually taken that up at COAG at the national level. Opponents of the project made their feelings known to the Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk at a community event on the Gold Coast on the weekend. Is will your government commit to facilitating a community-driven and respected master plan for the Spit, the Broadwater and its foreshores and to keeping them open for all to enjoy? This is a really serious issue, and yes, a number of people have raised it with me. The Mayor says if all eyes are on the Gold Coast City Council, he's confident it can operate effectively and with integrity. I can only say to you that uh, this council is the uh, most united council that I've served in in the second term, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, serving the city and make our city better. You know, I will work with the, with the uh, councillors that the people has elected regardless of, uh, of their background, race, colour and funding.